Princes aren't always everything, but in the following contributions, they certainly are. Stomp a prisoner of war pays seven fifty for breakfast at a resort restaurant in Pulau Bin and was served what he called rations, and they look like this. The Stomper elaborates, not only was the food quality and variety very bad, the service was extremely poor as well. A guy with a constipated face demanded we show him our breakfast vouchers. Then, two women, also with constipated faces, rationed out the food. <sighs> the Stomper added, we are being treated like prisoners of war. A male guest tried to ask for two puny hot dogs for his second helping and was given one instead, you know, in charity. No, is this the way they're treating guests? Is it, they, do they treat guests this way because they have a monopoly there? Oh, several netizens responded positively to the contribution. Sunny Blue said, Thank you for sharing what you experienced, while A. Whistle added, Thanks for sharing. I seriously don't expect a guest in Pula Obin to be treated like this as well. I won't be happy especially when someone ruins my breakfast. And worse, you have three servers with constipated faces. I think that's about to give me a constipation, right? I mean, it's so unappetizing. Yeah. Here's another contribution that will make you lose your appetite. Stomper Pizza Lover was left frustrated after the customer service representative of a pizzeria pushed over responsibility for two pizzas which were smashed when delivered. The Stomper shares, when our pizza arrived, we were shocked to find them in a condition like this. I made a call to Canadian Pizza requesting that they send over a replacement. But they told us that this was not their responsibility as different deliveries are handled by different branches. Mm -hmm. How does it even make sense? <laughs> the stomper added, when I asked for the contact number of the branch who delivered the pizza, they told me they can't get hold of this information. I am frustrated by the fact that we paid $40 for this, which is a lot of money for us, as we're teenagers and are unable to get a replacement even though it's not our fault. Hmm. A netizen master giggle commented, Wow, looks like body remains. While Gibeon Knight had this piece of advice, always check the contents of your food before making payments. Can you blame the pizza outlet if a piece of rock is delivered to you instead? Yikes. <laughs> In a similar incident, Stomper Miss M was upset when the pizza she ordered for her colleague's farewell was delivered in a terrible state. Coincidentally, just like Stomper Pizza Lover, Miss M also ordered from Canadian Pizza. The pizza was stuck to the box and all mashed up. It looked like a bomb exploded inside the pizza box. So we called them and they eventually agreed to replace our pizzas with a new batch. The Stomper added, this new batch was delivered in an edible state. However, they called to demand that we return them the messed up batch. The manager on the phone even had the nerve to mention, next time, you better not throw it away. The service of this outlet seems to be as appetizing as their food. Uh. I agree. <laughs> One netizen Stomper 67890 had an explanation for the manager's request to return a pizza. They need to ask for the spoiled one back to ensure that people won't try to cheat them. Tom Tom agreed. He said, they need the damaged pizza in order to ascertain that it was actually the fault of the delivery guy. Hmm. Stomper V had this to say, In North America, there is this integrity system. When they report such an incident, usually the pizza company will replace it. But the people are also quite chutong, mm -hmm. meaning automatic. And they will keep the damaged pizza as evidence without resorting to flaming the company. In our next clip, we bring you some positive contributions about youths who do good that are sure to bring back your appetite. Stay tuned!